and what is up everybody jeremy here excited to bring you another starfield ship building video today we have the pathfinder l1 and the l1 stands for long one as a special request from Novus Alden, thank you so much, Novus Alden, for commenting and like, requesting the long one. So this was pretty much the version that I was intending to, or kind of building towards, before I made it into a small scout ship. So yeah, here it is, guys. If you like this build, you can find all the parts we used in it found in a Google Sheet, which is listed in the description. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, as everything does help out. Now, this is a glitched ship build. Once again, you can find a good set of our glitches that we like to use in the video that goes over a lot of examples on how to use them. I know I need to update them, but yeah, for the glitches that are not in that video, like the fractionals and stuff like that that we're going to show today, well, you can find it here can find it here so let's go ahead and split this bad boy apart and get started with what we are trying to do what are we trying to do i don't know i don't know it's a lot though it's a lot all right so we, here we are we split up in our sections we are going to bring over just temporarily we're going to bring over a ship bed 200 landing bay and a De demo science lab right on top of it this is going to set up our alignment and we're going to bring over a hope tech spine have spine to the front and then we're gonna move these guys back we'll see you guys later but we just wanted to get set up the alignment and then what we're gonna do is bring over the rest of these spines and a hope tech 11 hope 11 docker so one two three four spines and the docker all right so that's our starting point and from here what we're gonna do is we are going to bring over oh we need to set up a um Fractionals. So we're setting up fractionals from the very beginning, guys. We're setting up fractionals from the very beginning. And... Okay, I didn't like that. <laughs> okay, let's just pull these out individually. There we go. So here's a fractional piece. Oops, keep that in there. Here's other fractional piece. Okay. So these are fractional pieces. I'm going to delete this one because when I create one, I want to use the same one. Or do I? Huh. I don't know. Do I want to use the same one? Because the thing is, I want this to be right in the middle. So I want it to be like right there. Huh. Okay. Anyway, we'll start off. And yeah, we'll... Because I, I, I realized, I just realized something. Because I know that before I try to tuck this guy in a little bit more. But if I do, it's not going to be even on the other side. So, all right. We're going to do it both times. We're going to just set it up both times. All right. So, what we're going to do. So, one, we need to establish. We need to bring in our piece here. We're going to bring in a Stroud Cowling. All right. And we're going to work with this third piece. So, one, two, three. The one in the middle. Because this is going to start attaching to the, um, or help with the Stroud Caps in the front. All right, setting up the half step. So we're gonna bring this a half step down. All right, so we're gonna bring in a horizon weapon mount. Just place any random weapon of your choice. I'm gonna choose the K20. I'm gonna select the Stroud Cowling and then shift click drag to select the um, KE20 cannon and just hit duplicate. So control G and then accept the movement. And now you have your Stroud Cowling that was moved down a half step. So yes, with a duplication glitch or any glitch, like it, things like to move to an already available snapping point. So this is the closest one between these two modules, right? And it'll move both the modules the same distance that it took to move this cannon into that spot. So I'll show you how to do it on a controller real quick. So we're gonna select the module by tapping RB individually on both of them. And make sure, like, what on mouse or keyboard or even on um, even on controller, make sure your cursor is above one of the highlighted items. Tap Y, it duplicated down. Tap A to accept the movement, and there it is, everybody. So that's how you get that um, get that half step by using Horizon Weapon Mount. And then what I'm going to do is move this equipment plate over right here. All right, and then remove the Stroud Cowling. So now. These guys are officially in half step. So yeah, if you place this in the first, for the first time into the work area here, I'm just gonna place one. I'm gonna do that. Oops. I'll just undo, undo. All right. So that's currently it. This is currently a half step down. All right. It's, it, it's off the grid. If I currently move in a 
Well, I mean, I guess you just hit G on top. <laughs> Maybe that's the best way to do it. Just hit, oops, that porthole. All right, hit the equipment plate. So now that equipment plate is also a half step down. Remove the straw cowling. Bring in the Deimos wing. See where it is, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is bring a Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector. So that's one of the weapons I'm going to have in my loadouts, my weapon loadout. So see where it's lining up. So it's not perfectly a half step down. It's a little bit higher, but that's, I mean, that's, that's as close as we want you can get. All right, so move the demo swing back one just a little bit. Move this guy in, try to line it to the, the tip of where this is, right? So there it is, bring it in. Variation glitch that in. So yeah, rules of this, variation glitch. Flip glitch or variation glitch, so this has a flip or a variation, so you could use either or. Rules are you need to have the module already in the work area. So like example, if I duplicate it and I try to do a flip glitch and go through the process, it just deletes itself. So if you duplicate it, make sure you place it in the work area first, all right? And then you move the, the and then you need to have, what? You need to make sure you can either do a flip or a variation, like swapping through the flip sort of variation, so tapping Z on the keyboard, or arrow key on the um, keyboard to go through the variations on the controller. You're tapping Y to go through the flips, or the, 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 you're hitting the, the directional pad to go through the variations. So bring it in, I'm gonna use the variation. Cancel the movement by tapping either escape or tab on the keyboard, or B on the controller, and it'll stay in place. Double click the rest of the ship, and you see it's air. Then I'm gonna bring in this other piece, and I'm going to just align it. So I'm going to use the controller to do that for you. So I'm selecting a piece by tapping A. So get that alignment here. Try to get the alignment as best as you can. There. Or I can bring in a little bit. You can make it. No, you, you make it. If you're going to duplicate this piece for both sides, right? I mean, that's my plan. You want to keep it as even as possible. Or is that even? You know what? It's not going to be even. No, let's screw it. Screw it. I'm going to do, I'm just gonna do the same process on the other side. There. So it can be done on controller. <laughs> I'm going to hit the directional pad once, twice. B to cancel the movement. Click LB to see everything's connected. And everything's not. All right. <laughs> Let's start over. Go ahead. Now, I, I was, my, my goal was to just duplicate this like this module and have it on the same side. But now I realize this this equipment plate it's not going to be in the correct position. So anyway, let's do this again. I want let's go, let's go ahead and move it in closer. Let's move it in closer. So it's going to be in just a little bit. All right. I think that's does that look like it's middle? Maybe I'll do this first. Move the weapon so I can get the best alignment for the equipment plate. A little bit forward. It's trying to snap this up. There you go. All right. Bring in the weapon. Bring in this guy. Variation glitch that one in. Double click. Everything's still connected. Perfect. Bring this guy in now. So my goal is to keep this or have this like flush with each other. Variation glitch. Cancel. Double click. Everything's connected, perfect. All right, then I'm gonna do this on the same side, on the other side. Um, here, I'm just gonna duplicate the whole set first. All right, duplicate the whole set, start moving things apart. Ugh. I realized what I did. All right, here, here. Best way to do duplicate all this. It's like undo all this crap. Oh. Too far, too far. All right. Remove the whole tech spine. Double click on this or select the whole thing so it selects everything for both wings, the weapon, and the equipment plate, which is now hidden inside here. Duplicate it, move this back in, then split this apart. So you make sure you have that. The reason why is because that equipment plate is currently at the correct level of the half step. Okay? So you see this guy is now snapping to that equipment plate in the bottom. Of that of that set of modules okay so that's what we want to do bring this bad boy in identify where the mill is a little bit 
So move to the side, bring that one in, try to eyeball where you want it to be. It's like somewhere like right there. I think. We'll find out. Put that one in. Bring this guy in. Oh! Got to move the weapon in first. Variation or flip. Double click. Alright, that's still connected there. Let me, let me do a check. I just, so I'm just gonna flip glitch this guy in. There we go. Let me get the other piece here so I'm not confused and see, realizing why there's multiple pieces. up so yeah you notice how I was trying to do a flip glitch here and it would move so I let me see there's a better way to do this no not with not with this piece not with this piece so what I'm gonna do is bring in a horizon weapon mount and cover up that snapping point right there try to, co to cover it up flip glitch that one in oh this guy's getting in the way Glitch that one in. All right, there. So now this can be flipped in easily. All right, does that look the same? <laughs> I was like, that's the whole, that's the whole point. Does that look like it's the same spot? Looks pretty good. Oh, this one's a little bit off. As we're trying to just eyeball it, but yeah, you get the idea. So you can. You could spend as much time trying to figure that out. I mean, from here, it looks like... Here, maybe I could use this to help me. Looks pretty good. That looks, that looks pretty good. So this one's off a little bit to the outside, so it's not really... It needs to be in just a little bit. Yeah, you can really see it here. Okay, so we're just gonna try to figure out. We'll just we'll just do a little fix. Just a little fix. So it needs to go in just a little bit more. See it's kinda snapping to something. This is gonna be the whole video, guys. Just be trying to line this thing up. This is it. This is the vi whole video. All right. 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 Okay. I'm going with it. Make sure that's flush. All right. It's all connected. Let's bring it in. Put that glitch. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's well, in tighter now. <laughs> it's like, oh well. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll keep it. We're keeping it. We're done. Done. No more. All right, finishing off the front. So we have all these guys here, and yeah, let's let's go. We're gonna bring in a shell cap A variation glitch that in both sides. Variation glitch, boom. Break these guys apart. Well, we're gonna just bring it over. Okay, so uh, I know originally because like. I mean, the original design used um, nullifiers, so and they basically put in two sets of Vanguard Obliterator Operator on the same side. You don't need to do it here, but I do need to do that for these guys here. So I'm going to do that real quick. We're going to put the same weapons in the mount. So I'm going to use I'm going to use this guy to be my duplication buddy. This whole thing. All right. So it, it has. It's already yeah. The only place that this can go is up. So it has snap points on the top here. We covered all the 
snapping points for the weapons now that I've moved the Vanguard Obliterator Art Projectors to the sides. So I'm going to select the PBO 175 Auto Helen Beams and shift click drag select the, the control station. I'm going to duplicate it and duplicate it up. Perfect. It floated these guys. And then with the controller, I'm going to show you how to do this duplication buddy glitch with the controller. So the idea is to move it up one spot up so I can easily duplicate it back down to the same spot. So I'm going to hit RB on all three of these. All right. Bottom module here. Hit Y to duplicate it. Hit A to accept the movement. And there we go. Now you have two PBO 175 auto Helen beams in that same spot. I'm going to delete these guys. Delete these extra pieces I created. <laughs> using the using the cockpit area as my buddy's stack. And then to move these down, what I had to do was I had to put in a module here. It could be the Demo Spine F, or another like, fun one could just be the um, Hope Tech Hope Tech Riser or any of the Hope Tech Risers. I mean the Demo Spine C with the two Vanguard Obliterated R projectors and the two PBO 175 and like duplicated in the same spot. Put these both there. Delete the risers or the spine F so that's floating and that means the only place it can go to is this free little snapping point right there So I'm just like both of these Then duplicate it and duplicate it down and that is perfection There you go, that's that's that now for these guys we're bringing in a tail cap a Tail side cap B. All right, make sure it's the B because it has the variation where it has the um the weapon snap point, the weapon mount, and this very the first variation, the, the, the standard Teo side cap doesn't. All right, so it's Teo side cap B. What I'm going to do is going to connect it to the a side of the Hope Tech Hab spine here. All right, see it's connecting. Variation glitch it in, so hit once, hit twice, cancel the movement, and it's in there. Wait a second, did I accidentally delete something? I did. What? How did I delete that? Oh, I know where. There it is. All right. It happened when I was deleting these floating guys. All right. Stay. Back to this guy. We're talking about variation glitches. Variation glitch to the side of the Teo or the, the Hope Tech's Hab Spine. So do that on both sides. Variation and then flip glitch flip <laughs> flip glitch these guys in to that tail um, Side cap B so we're gonna flip it one two three four times make sure it's facing the back So bring it in one two three four Boom and it's in there Perfect so I'm hiding it. I want it face the back to and if you have your rear facing guns facing the back the auto turrets It has a wider range. So there's a functional reason for it one, two, three, four. Boom. There you go, guys. Hold on. Oh. So here's a trick. If you see that something is not attaching right, so cl double click the rest of the ship or highlight or select the rest of the ship by tapping LB on the controller or double clicking on your mouse. Hit space bar or A on the controller. Let things turn green. That basically moves the ship to that unattached um, module. And then hit either spacebar, enter, or A on the controller again to accept the movement. Double click and you see everything is connected. So there you go. So if that happens, just highlight the rest of the ship. Cool. Let's make sure this is set like, so I know what's happening. Make sure these guys are here as reference. Okay, cool. Now let's bring in the tail cap A's. Bring that in. Variation glitch. Variation glitch that one in. And the other side, bring it in. Variation glitch that one in perfection. Now we're gonna finish off this side, keeping this side as reference to make sure that I have the correct length. And basically, we're just trying to move it in like right here. All right, so we're gonna start off with the bottom. We're gonna bring over the Galleon S203 cargo hold. Make sure it's snapping to the Stroud Cowling. Flip glitch that one in. Four flips. Bring in the Stroud Cowling here. Snap it in. One, two, three, four. Boom. All right. Then these guys, variation. Variation. Glitch it in. Variation. Glitch that one in. Then start breaking these guys apart. Boom. Boom. 
you see, can I bring this down here? Perfect. Bring that down, then duplicate it up. Nice. Delete that one. Bring this bad guy back in. Variation glitch that one in. Make a duplicate of Stroud. Wait. Um, what's the best way to do this? So. I can do this. Oops. Bring this one to the bottom. Variation glitch that one in. Bring this guy down. Take away the hope tick pipes and then just do standard duplication glitch to move it up. There we go. And then we're gonna move this one up once so I can move over the hope tick thruster. Bring it on top, select the hope tick thruster, select and have a buddy, duplicate it down. So yeah, only place this can go is down. And then move this one back in. And then this guy, Hope Tech Pipes, bring it as close. I mean, but the other thing you could do is just move the strap cap, bring this in, flip glitch that one in, bring back the cap variation glitch. There. And this, all this should be connected. Perfect. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Just back a little bit. All right. Galleon S203, cargo hold. Flip glitch that one in. Shroud Cowling, flip glitch that one in. Then we have these guys, so break it apart just a little bit. Gonna bring this one underneath, but then we need our. So I can just bring that Hope Tech Pipes, remove this, oops. Remove this guy, bring in the Hope Tech Pipes here. Oop. <laughs> Hold up. There you go. I undid, I undid the glitches. Bring that one, flip it in. Bring this one back in. Variation glitch that one in. Continue the trend. Variation glitch. Variation glitch. Then duplication up. Oh, move it to the side first. Duplicate it up again. There you go. Delete this, delete this. Move this one to the back. Um, Wait, am I missing something? Uh, oh, I guess I didn't put another, I didn't put another one of these in. So I guess you can do that. That's fine. Move this one up once, bring over the Hope Tech Thruster, select the Hope Tech Thruster and any buddy stack you want. Duplicate it down, delete this, move this guy down. And there we go, we have the nose. We have the nose. Next up, we're gonna bring, oh, we've got this guys. So, we kind of set this up at the very beginning where you had this half step piece. So, we brought one in. We had set up a half step piece with equipment plate to have it move a half step down, like this whole thing. So, this guy's on the grid, right? These guys are no longer on the grid. They're a half step down and they're a half step, like in, inside, based on the position of that equipment plate. But it's also, I we added this other demo swing so we can bring in this Nova Broking, Breaking Engine and flip glitch that one in there. So then it kind of is like, looks like it's inside these set of modules as well. So bring it in, bring in the Hope Tech pipes, variation glitch that one in. And yeah, you just bring it in. It's already attaching to that snapping to that point. Flip it in, boom, there we go. There it is guys. So this guy's in the, that's on the grid. These guys are off the grid. There he is. And I think that's the whole set that we have off the grid. Yeah. All right. Now that now that's done, let's start moving in this guy. So for this dude, let me just make sure I have this right. So we're gonna move this guy to be right here. So that's where that piece needs to be. So this guy needs to be inside right here. Um, how how do I do this? <laughs> it's like, and how do I accomplish that? So I think the first thing I need to do, it's like this guy is in the right spot. So let's go ahead. Um, it's not in the right spot. So how do I, how do I get it? How do I get you in there? Because <laughs> I, I think a lot of this part, a lot of the stuff too that I did was after the fact. So like, 
oh, you started adding these guys after the fact, even though something was already in there. So what I had to do, let's see. I had to drop this down somehow. So we had to do a, um, definitely had to do a duplication buddy glitch. So what I think I did was I created a chain using pipes. So I brought this in, variation glitched that in, and this again, again, it's already in there, perfect. So what I did was continue this trend, I added the Deimos Workshop to the back, bring this guy in here, and once I have that established, then I could just move these guys in. Um, so let's see, I had this guy right here, so this is the um, Teo All-in-One Birth. So I had it in right here, as you see, it's it's being blocked by something. So I'm going to duplicate it down once, move it to the side where I need it to be, delete this guy, and then do a duplication glitch to move it. Okay, move down first, then the next one should move up right there. Then I brought in a NG20 landing gear to the bottom of the Deimos workshop, and then brought in the tail cowling, flip glitch that one in. Everything's still connected, perfect. Underneath, we then we brought back the Shipbed 200 landing bay, right? Bring it to the front of the, what is this called? The tail all in one berth, bring it in. Flip glitch that one in, double click. Everything's still connected, perfect. Now, continuing on the trend, we're gonna bring over this, the Daily Science Lab, and kind of just build up to a place where it's where it's free and available to move down, and I delete the Hope Tech pipes. Duplication down once, duplication glitch down twice. Oh, so you see that it moved to a different spot, that's fine. So select it again, duplication, move to another spot, that's fine. Duplicate, move to another spot, it's fine. Move to another spot, it's fine. There, now it's down to the right spot. Delete all these rest of the guys. So that's the thing about fractionals, is that you have a lot of available snapping points that things can move to. All right, so we have that set. Yeah, we're good here. Then we're going to bring in, so I, okay, I should, I, I should have kept that last piece. So what we're gonna do is move all three of these, bring it in right here. That's our final spot, all right? Delete the science lab, bring over the Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator, select all three of these, and the only place where I could move up if I wanted to move it down. So I'm selected all three of them, duplicate, duplicate it down, perfect. There you go, guys. So that's, I mean, essentially that's a duplication buddy glitch, but with a, the um, modules attached. So you have the floating version and you have the attached version. So there you go, guys. So we have all that connected. Let's bring in a wing. Okay. The wing lines up to be like right there. Right about there. So how do we do this? We're gonna start off with this piece. This piece has a PBO 300 Alpha turret inside, facing inwards. So let's pull that out. Let's bring this in right there. Flip glitch that one in. Boom. Bring in an engine. Then remove this piece, and we start adding in our Hope Tech pipes. Variation glitch that one in. So we just bring in a whole set here. Variation glitch that one in. All the way to the front. And the last piece, you flip glitch this one in. There you go, so all that should be connected now. Oh, it's not connected. Oh, that's right. So now I need to bring this piece back in. I mean, here, I can leave it there. Bring this piece back in, flip it. So yeah, there's a free and available snapping point right there. So that's what I'm doing. Moving in, flip that one in, double click. Now everything is connected, but I need to move this back in. So I only pulled it out for demonstration purposes. Cool. Before we start moving in everything else, let's bring in, let's make sure this is the right spot. So we have this guy here. That's where we're gonna start. So flip glitch that one in, and then we need to duplicate it, and it should duplicate itself down right here. So we wanna cover the bottom snapping point 
directly underneath it on this wing. So this right there underneath that wing. And then get a duplication buddy stack going. Select the top weapon and shift click drag or select RBM to select both of them on the controller. Duplicate it down once, accept the movement. And then this guy is now inside. See, it's now inside the Nova Cowling. And I want to just hide it that way so it starts shooting up or down. Or, yeah, if it's shooting up, you can't see it pop out because you also have this tail cap to cover it up as well. Okay? So that's that piece. Finishing off the engines, and then we'll add in this guy in the bottom. So we're going to bring in this guy, like, right here. And to help us do that, we need to first remove the tail cap. Oops. We need to first move this set of pipes that we had established. Bring this back in. Flip glitch that one in. Bring this guy back in as well. Variation glitch that one guy in. Move in the Noble Kelling and move in the other Amon Dunn X300 engine. Then underneath, we're going to have this free and bevel snapping point right here. under I connected to the, um, it's not the, no, the Hope Tech pipes, right? There's a free and bevel snapping point to the Hope Tech pipes. Bring over the AccuLander 11. Bring it in. Flip glitch that one in. Boom. So one, two, three, four flips to get back to right correct orientation. Bring in the Stroud Cap A in front of it. Variation glitch that one in. Double click. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait, did nothing connect. And then bring this guy in. Variation. All right. So variation, you saw it moved up. So I'm going to use the flips instead. So yeah, one, two, three, four. Double click, everything's good, perfect. Woo! Other side, everybody. So it's essentially the same thing on the other side. So you move that in, that's where we'll go. That's where we'll be, all right? Just to speed this video up a little bit, you have a choice here. You can decide if you want to, like, if you like this look as is, you can keep it. If you want to add in a little bit more, then you could add in these spines. These spines look pretty good. I mean, but there's just plenty of other options you could go with as well. And I know I need to use a duplication glitch. So I'm going to duplicate this up first. Delete these. Move this in. Then duplicate these guys back down. Oop. Duplicate it up first. Now, now, cool. Down, vent down. And then underneath, we have these two NG landing gears. So bring that in. So what we need to do is variation glitch that one in. Variation glitch this one in. Then we have these pieces. All right, we have the skeg A to the front, flip it in. Skeg A to the back, right behind this guy, flip it in. And then we're gonna bring these guys in. We're gonna flip glitch, or flip glitch it in, but not, yeah, flip it. I'm gonna do both of these and then select the rest of the ship. Hit space bar, let things turn green. Double click again, hit spacebar, let things turn green. So we just did the close and occupied snapping um, flip glitch to close and occupied snapping point to both of these. But versus doing it one at a time, I decided, all right, let's just do both before selecting the rest of the ship and letting connect. All right, and do the same thing on here as we did on the other side. And that should be it. That should be it. So just do the same thing and we'll just cancel the rest of this and there it is everybody that is your pathfinder l1 otherwise known as pathfinder long one there we go everybody that's the long version of the pathfinder let's go ahead and take a tour hey all right so we go in here get inside All right, we first enter the Teo um, all-in-one hab, all-in-one berth hab. I'm going to sleep for an hour. I'm not sure if we reset things. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and jump up. Here we are with the um, work workstation. Is that what we call it? <laughs> this is a workstation, and the other side of it, we should have the science lab. So this is in between certain um, certain structural pieces on the outside. But you can't tell. 
Oh, there it is. So there's, this is, what is this? What piece is this? Is it like the, the grab drive? Can't tell. Oh, there, or is that? No? Yes. Yes, that, this is the, um, what's it called? Reactor. And there's our, there's our helium HE3 tank. <laughs> Peeping through a little bit. But this side looks fine. So I mean, it still looks pretty good. You just can't get to the shelves as easily. This one, this side looks fine, I think. <laughs> it's like, I think it looks fine. It's, it's still good. And then here we have the long haul to the um, docker in the front. So yeah. So imagine trying to defend this hall if people are trying to get in through the docker. It's like, well, come on in, guys. Come on in. And then we go up here. This is going into the you need something? control station. You're handling this whole captain thing really well. You know. This is where everyone's at. Oh, almost everybody. Hold on. Where's my crew? Are someone in? Here? Uh, they're all in here. Okay. All right. Wish everyone else felt the same. What is it? And then here is the cockpit. So there's our um, hope tech thrusters on the sides. And sure. this I is the know. radiator, Demos radiators coming up. What so totally up to you. Like so, if that, if you really want this whole section here, like if, like um, of course, it might blur your vision a little bit when you're piloting this thing. But it's totally up to you guys. Totally, your, totally your choice on what you want to do. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a seat and take this bad boy to battle. Let's bring out our fun battle music. And once again, you can find all the parts for this build down in the Google Sheet. Linked in the description. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Let's go. Let's let's finish this video. We're 37 minutes in. Pathfinder long one. <laughs> this is the long one, guys. Engines, our allocation to very go. Hey, all right. Let's take this bad boy to one of our favorite battlegrounds. It's gonna be Cricks today. Let's take it to the key. Put power into a grab drive, and while we let our ship grab away, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey. This, this is what it looks like during the cockpit. Nice. Wow, it's doing some quick work. And that's it, everybody. That is your Pathfinder long one. If you like this video, everybody, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And yes, you can find all the parts you use in this build found in the Google Sheet linked in the description somewhere. Where it's on the, maybe it's on your right side. Maybe it's down below. I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere else. But beyond that, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. And we'll see you all next time. Peace out. And thank you so much for all love and support. As always, without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you again real soon, guys. Peace.